It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buccaneers and the Texans coming up next. On a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas, the roof is open and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Houston Texans. Brandon Gordon joined, as always, by Charles Davis. As CD, it's been a tough few years here in Houston. Four, four, and three. Those are their win totals the last three seasons. But in is D'Amico Ryan's as head coach. What do you think he brings to the table? And it's interesting you brought up the number three because D'Amico Ryan's is the third head coach in three seasons for this team. What he brings to the table, toughness, organization, and hope. He wanted to be the head coach of the Houston Texans, the team he played for. And then for the visiting box, you know, all of a sudden Super Bowl 55 feels like it was a long time ago. Tom Brady retired. Some of the stalwarts of that team have moved on. They did win the NFC South last year, but they did so with a losing record at 8-9. and nine. And sometimes when you have a chance to begin again, other people emerge and play at a level that you don't expect. And that's what Tampa Bay needs from this team in 2023. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. So here are the Texans now with a fresh face at quarterback, the second overall pick from Ohio State, C.J. Stroud. In only two seasons, Stroud showed all he needed to at Ohio State. All-American, Heisman finalist, program records galore. He looked every bit like the number one overall pick. He went number two, but Houston is thrilled to have him. Stroud looks to throw on the first play. That's complete. It's Collins. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. A man coming off a great rookie year, it's Damian Pierce. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. Stroud looking to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Texans first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. No score after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. A shotgun snap to Stroud. He'll complete this one to Collins. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Stroud. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. That's 
This second and four. Now Stroud. He's got his man. It's the tight end, Brevin Jordan. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop him with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and ten. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. Two yards on the pickup there, and that will bring up second down. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it Not away, Coach. Not too much to show you in terms of scoring plays. In fact, there's nothing to show you. A scoreless tie here at the half. Both of these defenses have been outstanding thus far. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Bucks offense set to begin this third quarter. And Charles, we've seen almost three full quarters now, and neither offense can really get it going. Neither has hit the end zone, and neither side seemingly can make that big play. But the game hasn't been devoid of action because these two defenses, they've taken over and they've slugged it out. But I think you're exactly right. We're at that stage of the game now where one of these offenses, if they make a big play, that could be the difference. Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give them seven there on the first down carry. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Now second and three. They keep it on the ground. White again. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Mayfield off the play fake. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. So these two teams will take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium as we're through three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. On the draw, here's White. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Here comes second down at five. 
Now Mayfield. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Uh, this defense has been so stingy all game long. No reason to think it's suddenly going to open up now. They took their shot, but this, like many others, falls incomplete. Well, this crowd doing their best to make a lot of racket. It's third and five. Mayfield. And it is caught. And it'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. All three timeouts remain. How much that'll matter remains to be seen. It's first and ten. Mayfield to throw. That'll be taken in downfield by Godwin. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. After the made field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. This is first and 10. One final shot for C.J. Stroud. Finding Schultz. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So time has run out on what will be a Tampa Bay victory. And not all W's are created equal, C.D., and this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense, obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long from Houston.